Gen Z Talk, I'm Z. First of all, here's some good news. After something like two and a half years, the COVID situation is finally getting better. It looks like the daily confirmed cases have really dropped and the government has been lifting their restrictions. It feels like we are getting closer to the point of being able to travel around the world like the pre-COVID times. Then, following up to the situation in Ukraine, it seems like they still haven't been able to successfully talk to each other like grown-up adults instead of sending missiles and bombs at each other. But this situation is more than just about the two countries. The balance of power is shifting. Politicians are taking this opportunity to gain leverage. The United States are able to round up the allied nations, including NATO, to send more resources such as weapons and money to Ukraine to make sure they can hold off this invasion that's been going on for more than two months. Unfortunately, its impact on global trade is profound. Food prices such as eggs have been rising. Gas prices are also reaching numbers that I didn't even know was possible. On a separate note, around a week ago, WHO has been receiving several unusual cases of monkeypox. As of Saturday, May 21st, 92 confirmed cases and 28 suspected cases has been reported from Australia, Belgium, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Since monkeypox is such a rare occurrence in these countries, it is reasonable to believe that these reported cases have direct travel links with West Africa and Central Africa, which are places where monkeypox occurs more commonly. What is interesting, however, is that this is not the case for the reported cases so far, so the WHO expects more reported cases in the future. Monkeypox usually starts off like a flu. Once a person gets monkeypox, the symptoms are fever, headache, and muscle weakness. One to three days later, it evolves into rashes, which will last for two to four weeks until lesions scab and resolve over. Now, unlike COVID-19, experts say that monkeypox is not contagious as it seems as it requires close contact with an infected person to spread. Furthermore, we have some measures against the virus, so it's not like we're completely hopeless against it. However, I still think it's pretty scary, especially knowing that there are 17 suspected cases in Greater Montreal area, 15 of which are on the island, and I go to school in Montreal Island. So of course we gotta stay vigilant. Even though Quebec has removed its mandatory mask restrictions because of monkeypox, I think I'm gonna keep wearing my mask. Here's the breaking news. There has been a school shooting in America, Texas at an elementary school where 21 people were killed, including 19 children and two adults. The alleged gunman was identified to be an 18-year-old Uval High School student. Before on his way to the elementary school, he also allegedly shot his grandmother, as the officials have said. It's honestly another horrible gun shooting incident. And as a high school student myself, I strongly demand that the government side should adopt stricter laws against gun possessions. And I think that the politicians should look more into the gun restriction law and working on amending it. And that was a list of some of the most important things that happened recently. Please comment down below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching Gen Z News. I'll see you next time. Stay healthy, everyone. Bye.